Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about both Garfield games on the GBA. Enjoy the video. Garfield The Search for Pookie tries to be as close to the original art style as it can, and it succeeds at that. But what it doesn't do great is innovation. Just like most GBA tie-in games, this one too is a very basic platformer. You jump around and attack, you have to go from left to right to finish a level, the only times the game is something else is where OD digs holes so that you can get some extra items, and you won't see this happening very often in the game, and this car level. In rest, it's pretty much just a normal and very basic platforming game with occasional parts where the level design isn't the best, like for example here where you can't see what's beneath. This happens fairly often in the game, making you always uncertain of the ground, if it's solid or if you jump to your doom. Also the checkpoint system is kind of non-existent, so if you die, you get restarted from the start of the level. And Garfield and his 9 lives is for the most part a stereotypic platformer. The game is mostly what you would expect from it. What you can't tell from the video is that when you die, there is no checkpoint, so you start the level all over, which is irritating. Luckily the levels aren't that complicated, so even if you die often, the levels are simple enough, so that when you die it's not that big of a deal since the levels are so simple that you can regain what you've lost or get to that point where you died earlier pretty fast. Controls are responsive, but Garfield's kick attack requires some time to get used. There are also three bosses in the game, and each one is different. And aside of the nine different but short levels the game has, it offers a good enough deal of variety for a kid's game. Overall, the game is formulaic, but still kinda fun. Don't expect much though, because the game isn't really something. The checkpoint system is annoying, but overall the game offers a good but forgettable experience. 